and 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 Alex, this is something that is so important because I tell I tell everybody in my classes the single biggest problem that writers have in screenwriting and every other story medium today is they don't know how to plot. It's not character. It's not dialogue. It's plot. Is that is that different than structure? It is different than structure. It's okay. closely connected to structure, but it's different from structure. And let me okay. let me explain. Okay. Plot has more techniques that go into a good one than all of the other story skills combined. And it's not even close. And the the, the, the problem with it is not only is plot extremely complicated to do as a writer, it's very difficult to teach. And here, here's the reason. Most people think about plot as the character overcoming a series of obstacles mm -hmm. in the course of the story. And what that means is they think of it at, in, in a tactical way, in the sense of they think of it as these individual moments when the hero overcomes an obstacle. Mm -hmm. And basically, especially if you're using hero's journey, what you do is you simply string a series of obstacles that he overcomes along the way. Well, big mistake. What you've just done is committed what I consider to be the cardinal sin of storytelling, which is a cardinal sin of plotting, which is you're hitting the same beat. It's you repeating the same beat because even though that might be a different opponent that you are overcoming mm -hmm. at each obstacle, it's basically what's happening there is the same basic action. And so you string too many of those together and you get an episodic plot, a boring plot. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we contrast that? We contrast that to a grand plot where all of the obstacles and opposition are connected under the surface and designed in such a way that this opposition builds over the course of the story. And what a really great plot is, instead of coming at it from the tactical point of view, you have to come at it from the strategy point of view. Because a plot is a grand strategy that the opponent and the author use to put the hero in the greatest possible trouble. So instead of looking at each of these moments as a single event, you have to look at your plot as this grand sequence that where all of these elements are connected together, most of them under the surface. Now, that's very hard to do. It's also very hard to teach, right. which is why when people, for example, they, they, they do the hero's journey or the three-act structure and so on, they don't get this training. So, of course, they're not going to be able to do that. And what do they do? They, they execute these simple structures. They think, you know, I'm doing what the books tell me to do. And they, and they don't come up with a great plot. And they guess what? They think, well, it must be my fault. Mm -hmm. I don't have the talent. Well, it's not the fact that you don't have the talent. It's the fact that the tool that you're using is not advanced enough to give you an, a, an advanced level plot. 